So what brings you out here today? Um, well, in, in my humble opinion, uh, I just feel that all of these wars... Um, they've just, it, they've got to stop. They should have stopped eons ago. And just as a, as just humans, we need to start moving toward peace and, and living, um, a loving life in, instead of warring with each other all the time. And I think that, um, we as a nation, the United States of America, we're looked upon as leaders. And if we start that movement perhaps other others will follow i think it will take a very long time but we got to start somewhere um there are a lot of reasons why we need to get out of these wars some of them ec economic as well we need to start concentrating on our own country and building ourselves back up and um leaving uh, issues uh cultural issues and things like that to to the other people in other countries in the Middle East and, and such. Do you see any similarities uh, with the start of the Iraq war with the situation with Iran? I, yes, I do. <laughs> I, I, my Again, in my humble opinion, I think it's all about, you know, money and, and, and but using the culture as an excuse. I have two questions. Um, one... Uh, for like today, what message would you have for um, Mike Rogers as the U.S. representative here locally? And two, what's your message for President Obama? I'll uh, I'll answer that as a whole. <laughs> I would I would like to just tell them to start concentrating on our own country and start moving toward uh, a peaceful society, and instead of getting into everybody else's business and out in the world. I mean, and don't get me wrong. I, I, you know, when there are sincere human atrocities happening, um, I think it's really important for us to take as many peaceful measures as possible to, to take care of those types of things. But I don't believe that that's why we're going into these wars. So I would, I would just, like them to stop and start concentrating on more peaceful measures um, and, you know, working toward a more uh, peaceful society here. I think that people need to be um, as informed as possible. I think they need to do as much research on issues that they can um, in terms of looking at all different types of, of news sources, including places like Al Jazeera, you know, um, as as well as you know our own publications and and whatnot and then i think that uh people the more educated you are the more that you know obviously and i think having that um as an arsenal the education about um some of the problems and issues you can come out and and speak on um being more peaceful and why we shouldn't be in these wars and and ending them does Congress listen, or what does it take for them to listen, and, and how confident are you uh, for them to listen to this message today and make the right decisions for what's going to happen with Iran? Do they listen? That's an excellent question. Um, it seems to me that, uh, you know, the old idea of power in numbers, it's going to take um, a lot of people coming out and 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 stating that, that you know these wars are wrong and they need to stop and um, I think the more people that start understanding that we need to start moving toward a more peaceful existence um, and getting out here and and you know uh, with whether it's protesting or or daily uh, living actions um, I hopefully I would hope that they would start listening but people need to speak up do you have any predictions right now as far as what's happening and where we're heading with this thing? Um, boy, I'm not good at predictions <laughs> because uh, the things can just change on a dime. But my my personal feeling is that there is a, a shift in energy in the in the world overall. I think people are uh, 
becoming exhausted with wars and and people uh, generally uh, being mistreated and, and human atrocities and the more that you hear about it whether it's through social media or or on you know regular news channels or through news publications um, I think people are starting to listen a little bit more whether it's because it might be hitting them a little closer to home um, but a lot it seems like a lot more people are coming out and speaking out um, and I hope that that continues whether it's through the Occupy movement or other peaceful mu movements um, throughout the world. So.